Billy here at Gilbert Travels, back here at SeaTac over in the N terminal. This evening I'm going to be flying down to Fort Lauderdale, but first the main part of my review is going to be checking out Alaska's premier lounge facility here, which I have access to this evening with my first class ticket. I've heard this is a truly excellent and outstanding lounge, so I'm excited to spend a couple hours here before my flight. This is going to be an evening red-eye flight, and uh, so I'm going to try to get on board and get some sleep. Not sure how much footage will be on the plane or in the air, but let's get in the lounge. Alaska's headquarters is right here in Seattle, with SeaTac as their primary hub, and this is their flagship lounge. This is far from their first lounge in Seattle, however this latest one opened in July of 2019 and is an impressive 15,800 square feet. High ceilings and huge windows provide a bright and open space, filled throughout with beautiful wood that captures the northwestern nature feel. At the center is a large island that provides most of the eating opportunities in the lounge, currently limited to mostly pre-packaged items. Off to the right of the entrance is the bar, where local beers are served on tap and complimentary, as well as liquor options for cocktails and wine. I also found out they offer beer flights in small glasses, so you can sample a selection of the brews on offer, which I'll have to try out on a future visit. There's some great Avgeek touches as well, including these turbine housing themed light shades. Then on the left side, you'll find ample seating of many varieties, best enjoyed after eating at the tables in the central dining area. This includes a beautiful gas fireplace, which was not in use at the time of my visit. Overall, the quality of the materials used is excellent, and it's an incredibly premium feeling space. Now let's circle back to sample tonight's dinner. Nice spread here to check out. Got a uh, soup salad and a wrap here, nice local beer. Be a nice meal to have, and then about an hour or so to soak in here before it's time to board. So everything, of course, now with COVID is pre-packaged, but all things considered, other than all the plastic waste, pretty decent looking meal for a lounge. Ooh, look at that. Nice views, nice lounge. Let's try that mushroom soup here. Mmm, quite good. Chase it down with the IPA. Ah. So not only is this a beautiful lounge, it's Alaska's flagship location for their lounge system, they're also the only major US airline to allow access to first class ticket holders without separate lounge pass access. So I was able to get in here this evening on my first class ticket. Also uh, space allowing, you can uh, get in here with priority pass as well. So if you're in SeaTac and get over here to the end terminal, this is a beautiful spot to spend some time and unwind before your flight. The ample seating and beautiful windows with views out of the three parallel runways of SeaTac means I need to go find a cocktail from the bar and settle into a front row seat on the action this evening as this day winds down to a close. As a lover of a luxurious lounge, a good strong drink, and live airplane action, this is one seriously great place to kick off a trip in style. Even though the light was going down and I had to get on my plane, it was hard to leave this lounge tonight. It did certainly serve to get me in a good mood to face down tonight's domestic red-eye flight.
couple hours here in the lounge, my final verdict is I would definitely come back here to the Alaska Lounge again in the future. The Delta Lounge here in SeaTac is also quite nice, but the runway views here, the Alaska Lounge definitely went out today. Beautiful to watch these planes take off and land for hour after hour here at the runway at SeaTac. So this evening again, we got a red eye flight about six hours down here from Seattle all the way to the other corner of the country, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's one of the longest domestic routes out there. At present, it's served by uh, Alaska here and JetBlue, and neither of them offer life flat service, and neither does American through Miami. So we're gonna be in a domestic first class recliner. Brought my own pillow, mask, and blanket for the flight. So gonna get on the plane, get comfy, get my noise canceling headphones on, and try to get to sleep as soon as possible. Gonna be back on this same route down to Fort Lauderdale next month during their daytime flight that departs in the morning. So we'll have a better look at what their service is during the daytime flight here next month. So this is Alaska 737-900. Been on this aircraft before. This one looks like it was delivered to them in the last two or three years. I'm still actually hoping that it has their old style recliners like I've experienced before. My little hop up from LA to uh, Seattle couple uh, year and a half ago because those old recliners are quite comfy. As we board this evening's aircraft, you will see the One World branding now by the door, noting that Alaska has recently joined this alliance and we'll talk about that a little bit more later. on board. It is indeed their old style seat. Nice and comfy. It's a pretty basic old school first class seat. Miniature bin. Got some plugs here in the front of the armrest. Drink holder. Pull out tray table. And some nice views here. As we take off or Fort Lauderdale. They were taking meal orders for this flight, even this red eye. I ordered a turkey sandwich. I'm hoping I can uh, get that in the morning as some breakfast. Because my plan is to maximize sleep here on this short red eye. Hopefully, I'll see you next when I wake up a lot closer to Florida. Alaska's not currently providing bedding, so I brought my own smattering of airline goodies for amenities this evening. A drink menu was present in the seat back, but tonight's all about sleep, and that's what I tried to do as quickly as possible after today's takeoff. So as we left Seattle behind, I'm off to sleep as we head across the country. So let's use that time to talk about today's booking. Alaska has had some fantastic sales on this route this spring, and in this case, tonight's one-way first class ticket was $299. Now that Alaska is a One World member, I was able to credit this ticket to American, which uses a distance-based mile and elite qualifying formula, giving me a well-outsized return of over 800 elite qualifying dollars with American will not always come out ahead by crediting Alaska to American, depending on the ticket price and route. But in this case, it was a great boost to my requalification efforts this year. Anyway, back on the plane, I was waking up about an hour from landing, just off the Florida coast outside of Tampa. I had really wanted to be up about this early so I could see if that sandwich of mine was sitting around and at least have a good cup of coffee. Unfortunately, the crew never came through the cabin even one time to offer anything. 
and I felt bad pressing my call button while most people were still sleeping. Considering my past service experiences on Alaska, I was disappointed and at least certainly not amazed by tonight's service. Even giving a wide berth of credit for it being a red eye, I would think a coffee run through the first class cabin before final approach should be a given. All right, about uh, 20 minutes to landing now. Slept okay last night, all things considered. Got about probably uh, four, four and a half hours of sleep. Time to get back down to the ground. Here we go, back down to Fort Lauderdale. After a flight, I was really quite thankful just to have gotten a decent night's sleep on in a non-high flat seat. told pretty painless flight did manage to get some pretty decent sleep on there made it here to Florida and it's time to uh, hit the road here so hope you enjoyed coming along there the Alaska Lounge is a beautiful spot and look forward to being on that route in the future and showing you more what the on uh, board surface is like on a non overnight flight so hope you enjoyed coming along Billy here with Gilbert Travels we'll see you on the next flight in the meantime, please remember to like, comment, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be made aware first when more content is available. As always, thanks for watching.